this ball, it is time to say hello to the band supporting Danzig right across the US. Well known to us in Europe, it's Type O Negative. And uh, as you can see, I'm joined here backstage uh, by Peter Steele from Type O Negative. So uh, good evening, Peter. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Nice to see you again. And of course, thank you. We saw you uh, on tour in Europe a little while ago, and uh, you were interviewed by Gregor from right. Paradise Lost, which I found a very interesting interview. Um, how did that tour go for you now that you've completed it and look back on it? The tour went extremely well. <clears throat> Most of the shows we played over the three-week area were sold out. Uh, I enjoyed meeting the fans overseas. That was really great. But of course, it's always good to come home. Yes, of course. Of course. Do you think that you in, you managed to set the record straight a little bit with people in Europe? I was hoping we'd have more problems because that actually uh, generated lots of press for us and made us a lot of money. So um, I believe in the future I'll have to make some other inflammatory statements. Right. So you know to get back in the papers. Well, do feel free in this interview. <laughs> um, waiting for the right moment. Now, uh, as you said, you're at home in the U.S. now, um, yes. touring with Danzig. I'm wondering, what is your profile like in America? Do you get a lot of radio and MTV play, or is it more of a thing that you've toured and got word of mouth? Lately, there's been uh, a lot of radio play, uh, especially on uh, Z-Rock. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we have two videos on MTV here, and possibly a third in the future. Oh, right. yes. right. And you did tour with Motley Crue as well um, a while back, which I found was quite an unusual lineup. Um, what kind of experience was that? Well, we had toured with them for approximately two and a half months. Mm -hmm. And uh, at first, I was kind of skeptical. You know, I didn't think the matchup was quite right. But they turned out to be really nice guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had fun with them. And their audience was quite responsive to us. So it, I believe it was a favorable experience. Yes. Well, I think that the Danzig audience is probably going to be more responsive to you as well. Um, I think there's quite a lot of similarities between yourselves and Danzig, that there has been controversy surrounding both bands. Do you feel an affinity with Danzig, that he's um, ploughed his own furrow and hasn't compromised in any way? Yes. Uh, also, I think that, you know, because he, he's into like a dark type of, uh, of uh, sensuality, uh, much like, you know, typo negative is, I think that we there is definitely a, a similarity there as well. Mm -hmm. So I can imagine there's going to be lots of uh, long, interesting conversations backstage over the next few weeks. <laughs> there have, have been some long ones already. Oh, good. Good. Yes. Well, uh, we've got to go into a video right now, and uh, typo negative video is very popular here at Headbangers Ball in Europe. And uh, I'm going to ask you to choose out of the two, because I don't know which one to choose. Well, I wish I had a coin to flip. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't. Uh, I haven't seen the Christian Woman video lately, so maybe we'll yeah. choose that one. Okay, well, let's okay. see that again. This is Typo Negative from the album Bloody Kisses. We're going to show you brilliant song, Christian Woman. Thank you. Peter Steele from Typo Negative, the support band with Danzig. And uh, in the last segment, you did welcome the chance of uh, being a little bit controversial. When you spoke to uh, Gregor McIntosh from Paradise Lost in our last interview, you said, um, and if I can quote you, that um, typo negative hate to love for fear of um, emotional pain. Yes. Now, um, I can relate to that completely. However, I would like to put it to you that um, surely human relationships are part of life's rich tapestry and you can get as much enjoyment from a relationship as, as you can get pain, whether it's brother, sister, lovers, mother, father, whatever. Um, why, why, why are you so cynical about that? Because when I love, I love with everything that I have. And uh, I trust people, and I believe that that's my problem, that I give myself totally. And so when it ends, it's not usually my doing. It's, it's the lady that I'm involved with. And uh, I don't take it too easily, and I don't take it lightly. And sometimes I think twice about being with people for that reason. So that really applies more to um, a girlfriend relationship than a family relationship, do you think? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Also, I mean, in a band, a lot of people have compared it to actually being married. In a lot of, it's in a lot of ways, it's like a marriage. You're dealing with three other people. Mm -hmm. Are, do you fear emotional pain from within the band? Uh, no, not really. A different kind of thing. Uh, it's a, a completely different thing. Uh, to me, there is no comparison. 
Oh, there's well, John from well, Danzig. Well. <laughs> no. Right, so no comparison. You're talking more about... I'm talking about women, mm -hmm. sexual relationships, you know, physical relationships. Yeah. I mean, if I can say, put it to you, um, do you see sex, sex as a separate issue to love? Because some of your songs, I think, are about sex, but I, I would say a somewhat twisted view of sex. Well, ultimately, I would like to have sex with a person I love, yeah. but that doesn't always have to be the case. So they can be separate things, but they can be in harmony. That's true. Usually, I would like them to be together, but if not, I'll take one or the other. <laughs> Um, so I guess just to finish off with, uh, the Bloody Kisses album has been around for quite a while now yep. and I'm just beginning to think that maybe you're thinking about writing new songs. I've had a whole new album written for the past year. Have you? However, uh, the record company likes to use typo negative the way a prostitute uses her vagina. And so they just want to prostitute us and get the most out of us that they possibly can mm -hmm. until this album loses any saleability and at that point we'll go back into the studio and make some more noise right. do you have any idea when that might be uh i was hoping to release it the autumnal equinox right. of 1995 <laughs> uh, that is one of my favorite holidays however uh we may have to wait for the winter solstice right. but i'll try to get it out to you as soon as i possibly can okay. well not just to me but to everybody in europe because we've had great great feedback yes. to the album and to the tour um, good luck with the Danzig dates. Um, hope we see you in Europe again in the not too distant future. And thanks for talking to me. And that's a wonderful shade of green you have in your hair. Oh, thank you. You like that, do you? Oh, great. Well, that's uh, latest news on typo negative for you. Thanks very much to Pete Steele. Nice to talk thank to you. you guys. And we're going into our first short break right, right now and taking us into that break. You're going to have a little look at typo negative live here in Phoenix supporting Danzig and then after the break we will be talking to the headliners so stay tuned as the Headbangers Ball Danzig US Tour Special continues. Take a look at Typo Negative live. See you after the break. Nice to be done, yeah.